Why is Shedwork Sable so weird? I don't mean the game itself, the game is fantastic. I just mean how it works. Okay, so hear me out. I started playing Sable on Game Pass for PC yesterday, when it first released, and I was blown away by the aesthetic and gameplay, besides a few <clears throat> bugs. It was an amazing experience. But when it came to benchmarking, I noticed something strange. No matter what I put in my PC, it always gave me the same FPS. 90 FPS for the 1660 Ti, 90 FPS for the 2070 Super, 90 for the 2080 Super, 90 for the 6900 XT, and 90 for the 3090. The freaking 3090. This car does not cost as much as a car for you to get 90 FPS using it. <sighs> Why? Now, I'm a lot of things, but an idiot is not one of them. Am I an idiot? Do you follow WePC on TikTok? No. Then yes. VSync, I hear you say. Nope, the frame rate was uncapped. The game was running in full screen, nothing in my Nvidia settings had changed from normal, and I'm just kinda left stuck. Is Sable broken? Quick uninstall revealed, nope, we're all good, same as before. F was it a bug? After taking a long, long break from pretending to work to look for anyone having the same issue, revealed no reports yet. Strange. Was it a bad console port? Um, maybe. Let's check the Steam version. Oh, I don't have the Steam version. Well, here we go. Well, that was a waste of £20. Still the same results. Hmm, interesting. Note to self. Boss owes me £20. Okay, moving on. What game engine does Sable use? Maybe there's a clue there. Well, after research turning up nothing, I turned to Sable's game files and da da, Unity Crash Handler, you beauty, boom, we're on Unity. So I headed over to the Unity website to do some uh, light reading and determined that I am a little out of my depth here. But after actually reading, I determined that Unity does have support for GPU utilization optimizations. But that's counterintuitive to use, especially when doing so, you're limiting your FPS to 90 on a 30 frickin' 90. My <sighs> humble, ever so slightly educated opinion is the game was developed and optimized for consoles, and then ported over to PC, where the resource utilization is vastly different. Of course, in consoles, conserving power and resources is a top priority. Whereas on PC, this doesn't translate well for high frame rates. The GPU usage is down, but the stutters, oh, the stutters are up. This doesn't mean this will be the norm for Sable forever. This can easily be fixed with updates down the road. Am I being too harsh on a game that's just come out a day ago? that has been developed with love and care by a team of two, yes, two people over the course of half a decade? Maybe. Maybe. Well, that pretty much does it. Is Sable a bad game for being badly optimised for the PC? Absolutely not. I enjoyed the heck out of Sable, and I think you probably would too. Don't take my word as gospel either. I'm not a game dev, I'm just a humble benchmarker with a huge interest and in education in PC hardware. <laughs> So what's the verdict then? Truly, I'm not so sure. I'm gonna hand this over to you guys. Is Sable badly optimized? Is it another bad console port? Or was this a smart move? Let me know what you think down in the comments. This has been Jack from WePC. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.